Our planet Earth is teeming with life. From the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, life exists in a breathtaking array of forms. But it wasn't always this way. Imagine a time when Earth was a barren and hostile place, devoid of even the simplest organisms. No plants, no animals, not even bacteria. This was Earth billions of years ago. The young Earth was a world of fire and volcanic activity. Its surface was a molten sea of rock, constantly bombarded by asteroids and comets. The atmosphere was a toxic mixture of gases, completely unsuitable for life as we know it. It's hard to believe that this alien environment could eventually give rise to the rich tapestry of life we see today. Yet somewhere in this chaotic and inhospitable world, life emerged. The question of how life arose from non-living matter is one of the most profound mysteries in science. Scientists believe that life on Earth originated in a primordial soup of organic molecules. These molecules, the building blocks of life, somehow assembled themselves into the first self-replicating structures. This marked the beginning of life on Earth and the start of a journey that would lead to all the plants and animals we know and love. The early Earth was a far cry from the hospitable planet we know today. The atmosphere was a toxic cocktail of methane, ammonia and other gases. Volcanic eruptions were commonplace, spewing lava and ash into the sky. The oceans were hot and acidic, nothing like the life-giving waters we know today. Despite these harsh conditions, life found a way to emerge. Scientists believe that life may have originated in the depths of the oceans, near hydrothermal vents. These vents spew out hot, mineral-rich water from the Earth's interior, providing a source of energy and nutrients for early life forms. Another theory suggests that life may have originated in shallow pools of water on the Earth's surface. These pools, rich in organic molecules, would have been exposed to the sun's ultraviolet radiation, which could have provided the energy needed for life to arise. Regardless of where life began, it is clear that early life forms were incredibly resilient. They were able to survive and thrive in conditions that would be lethal to most life forms today. These early organisms were simple, single-celled creatures, but they possessed the most remarkable characteristic of all, the ability to reproduce and pass on their genetic information to the next generation. The emergence of plants marked a turning point in the history of life on Earth. Before plants, the Earth's atmosphere contained very little oxygen. The first plants, known as cyanobacteria, were simple, single-celled organisms that evolved a remarkable ability, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide to create their own food. A byproduct of this process is oxygen. As cyanobacteria spread and flourished in the Earth's oceans, they released vast quantities of oxygen into the atmosphere. The evidence for the existence of these early plants comes from fossilized stromatolites. Stromatolites are layered structures formed by the growth of cyanobacteria in shallow water. The oldest stromatolites date back over three and a half billion years, providing evidence that photosynthetic life existed on Earth very early in its history. The evolution of photosynthesis was a pivotal event in Earth's history. It paved the way for the development of more complex life forms that rely on oxygen to survive. While plants were busy transforming the Earth's atmosphere, another group of organisms was evolving in the ocean's animals. The first animals were simple, single-celled creatures that likely fed on bacteria and other organic matter. Over millions of years, these early animals evolved into more complex, multicellular organisms. The earliest evidence for animal life comes from fossils known as trace fossils. Trace fossils are not the fossilized remains of the animals themselves, but rather evidence of their activity. Examples include tracks, burrows, and fossilized feces. The oldest known trace fossils date back around 600 million years. These fossils suggest that early animals were small, worm-like creatures that lived in the sediment on the ocean floor. Over time, animals evolved into a dazzling array of forms, from sponges and jellyfish to worms and mollusks. These early animals played a crucial role in shaping the marine ecosystems we know today. Tracing the timeline. Fossils and the order of life. Fossils are the key to understanding the history of life on Earth. They are the preserved remains or traces of ancient organisms, providing a window into the distant past. By studying fossils, scientists can piece together a timeline of life on Earth. 
from the earliest single-celled organisms to the complex plants and animals we see today. The fossil record clearly shows that plants, specifically cyanobacteria, evolved before animals. The oldest fossils of cyanobacteria date back over three and a half billion years, while the oldest fossils of animals date back around 600 million years. This indicates that plants predate animals by a significant margin. The fossil record also reveals that the evolution of life on Earth has been a gradual process. There was no single moment when animals suddenly appeared. Instead, animals evolved from simpler, single-celled organisms over millions of years. The study of fossils is an ongoing process. New discoveries are constantly being made that refine our understanding of the history of life on Earth. The oxygen revolution, how plants transformed Earth. The evolution of photosynthesis by cyanobacteria had a profound impact on the Earth's atmosphere. Before photosynthesis, the Earth's atmosphere contained very little oxygen. As cyanobacteria released oxygen as a byproduct of photosynthesis, the oxygen content of the atmosphere gradually increased. This increase in atmospheric oxygen, known as the Great Oxidation Event, had far-reaching consequences for life on Earth. Oxygen is toxic to many anaerobic organisms, which cannot survive in its presence. The Great Oxidation Event led to the extinction of many anaerobic organisms and paved the way for the evolution of aerobic organisms, which require oxygen to survive. The rise of oxygen also led to the formation of the ozone layer, which protects life on Earth from the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. The ozone layer made it possible for life to colonize land, which had previously been too harsh an environment due to high levels of UV radiation. The oxygen revolution, driven by the evolution of plants, transformed Earth from a planet with a toxic atmosphere to the life-supporting world we know today. Debunking the myths plants versus animals. There is a common misconception that animals evolved before plants. This is likely due to the fact that animals are more familiar to us than plants and seem more complex. However, as we have seen, the fossil record clearly shows that plants, specifically cyanobacteria, predate animals by a significant margin. Another misconception is that plants are not as evolved as animals. While it is true that plants and animals have evolved along different trajectories, both groups are highly evolved and adapted to their respective environments, plants have evolved complex mechanisms for photosynthesis, water transport and reproduction, while animals have evolved complex nervous systems, sensory organs and locomotor abilities. Both plants and animals are essential for the functioning of ecosystems. Plants form the base of most food chains, providing energy for herbivores which in turn are eaten by carnivores. Plants also play a vital role in regulating the Earth's climate and cycling nutrients. A legacy etched in stone. The story of the first plants and animals is not just a tale of ancient history. It is a story that is still unfolding today. The descendants of those first life forms are all around us, from the towering trees in a forest to the birds singing in the branches. By studying the fossils of early life forms, we gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of life on Earth. We see how life has evolved and adapted over billions of years to create the diversity we see today. We also gain a better understanding of the challenges that life on Earth has faced, from asteroid impacts to climate change. Conclusion, Echoes of the Past, Lessons for the Future. The story of the first plants and animals is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. From humble beginnings in a primordial soup, life has evolved to colonize every corner of our planet. The evolution of plants transformed Earth's atmosphere, making it possible for animals to evolve and thrive. Understanding the history of life on Earth is not just an academic exercise. It helps us appreciate the delicate balance of our planet's ecosystems and the importance of preserving biodiversity. By learning from the past, we can make more informed decisions about the future of life on Earth. The story of life on Earth is a story of constant change and adaptation. As we continue to learn more about our planet's past, we gain a deeper understanding of our place in the universe and the responsibility we have to protect the only home we know. Thanks for watching.